gonna go on. Mm hmm. Wait, do you guys hear that? I do because guess what we're making today? <laughs> we're gonna be making some orange creamsicles that are low carb and keto friendly. Guys, we also have a bonus recipe, so stay tuned till the end so you can get this one as well. All right guys, so we're gonna get started with our recipe. So we're going with the orange flavor because of course these are orange creamsicles. We have our hot water, which is super hot, you can see the steam. We're just gonna pour this in. Okay, and we are going to dissolve this really quickly. So this is seriously probably like the easiest recipe you're gonna make. This is perfect for kiddos, for the summertime. Then you have your heavy cream, pour that in. Wow, super creaminess. And we also have a little vanilla. And guys, that is it. You just mix that in. I don't know if you could see the the creaminess of this, but it is nice and creamy. And when you make these, they are gonna remind you of the uh, creamsicles you used to get from the ice cream truck, or at least that I used to get. I used to be obsessed with them. Okay, so we're going to fill these up. These are the little popsicle mold sticks that we're using. Um, I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. All right, guys, I'm not, I'm over here trying to not spill all over the place. Oh my goodness, guys, we have little dreamsicles. I'm super excited. We're gonna put these in the freezer for about like four hours. Um, obviously I'll show you once they're done, the texture, we're gonna, I'm gonna go over it and we're gonna make a little bonus recipe right now. These little minis, I'm gonna show you. So let me get these in the freezer and then we'll make this one super quick. All right guys, so this is our bonus recipe. Make sure you have hot water. If not, the texture is gonna be all crazy. You don't want it, trust me, you need hot water, okay? So this is the orange flavor Ultima. This is great for cocktails. It's great for like, if you're gonna make a pitcher for dinner, Obviously you can make jello, you can make paletas, the whole shebango. You get 20% um, off using low carb love. So I will link that down below and um, you guys can pick it up. It's also electrolytes and minerals. So, so many uses for it. Okay, so now we have our orange flavored Ultima in there and then our vanilla. And we're just gonna mix. So this is the clean version, but um, so if you wanted to make this into the creamsicles, then you would just add your heavy cream. But I was like more in the mood for something a little more like spicy. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make with this bad boy. I am like obsessed with tahin. Tell me if you guys love tahin. So I love the powdered tahin on my veggies, on my jicama, on everything. But have you guys seen the liquid tahin? So this is actually liquid. And um, usually the only thing I had seen before was the chamoy. So this is actually tahin, and we're gonna use this in our paletas. All right guys, so we're gonna get our little mold. These are little minis, how cute are they? So tahin, okay, liquid tahin. You're going to, we're gonna pour a little bit on the all around for the flavor, okay? And then we're gonna top it with this too, but let's just get some all around. So we have our tahine all around, and now we are just going to pour right into it. So we're all done. If you have some tahine powder, then you can kind of just sprinkle it on the top. I ran out. So um, we're gonna leave it just like that. Now we're just putting our little, our little popsicle sticks, and so once the paleta comes out, the tajin is gonna be at the tip. So that's what you're gonna eat first, which is, that's what you want. And I think that's enough. If you wanna go heavier on the tajin, then you can totally do that. But we're gonna get these in the freezer right now, leave them in there for about three to four hours, and then we will come back for the taste test. I ended up running this underwater. I would say like 20 second intervals because you don't want it to get too, um, 
like you don't want it to melt, right? But you can see how it pulled out super clean and so now we're gonna do the taste test for our orange creamsicles. Let's go. Mm. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait, here's your mom. If you're in the mood for something creamy, then you're gonna go with the creamsicle. If you want something a little lighter, then you're gonna go with the popsicle, the tajin paleta, cause they're both the bomb. I don't even know which one I like better, to be honest with you. All right guys, so I hope you really enjoyed this quick recipe. Let me know which one you are wanting to try off the top. Do you want the creamy or do you want the paleta? Comment down below and let me know. I'm also gonna leave the recipe in the description below. That's gonna take you to lowcarblove.com where you're gonna be able to print this recipe along with exclusive recipes that I don't have anywhere else on the internet. Guys, I'm also posting on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below and let me know and I will see you on the next one.